What's going on guys? Welcome to another YouTube video, a head-to-head -head complexity $2,000 tournament. It was an invitational that um, I was a part of this past week, as you guys can see in the previous videos, versus Popular Stranger in, in the first round, and then for, versus Skimmo in the second round. This is the final four now against Maze, a um, YouTuber, streamer. Man, he's a, he's a dope dude. He, uh, we're supposed to be collabing this year, so I'm going to hold him to that, make sure that we get those collab videos done this year. This is the first um, I've ever played him, actually. So as far as I know, um, as you can see, I'm Ohio State and he is Alabama. Um, I come out kind of in, in a tough spot already, fourth and four. So I'm going to have to go to one of my better plays and we are able to pick it up just barely on that left side with a little whip route. Very next play, Will Howard roll out, nothing there, throw it away. And uh, we're... You know, midway through the first quarter, handing it off here, getting another first down. So now we're, you know, we're in rhythm a little bit. I'm trying to get a feel for his defense and uh, see what he's doing out here with Alabama. As you can see, I handed it again to Trevion Henderson, and he gets me the first down once again, and then we go right back to him. So I'm um, trying to get that run game going. As you can see, Ohio State in regs, they have the best one-two punch with Henderson and Judkins. Um, they're amazing uh, as far as running the ball. So this is a really good team if you like to run the ball. And you can see I'm in the UNLV playbook, which is the uh, the go-go offense, a unique offense, um, something that you'll only see in, in college football. You will not see this in Madden with the two backs, like the duo formations. It's, it's really dope to see. Um, as you can see, fourth and two, I get baited by Mays. He picks me off. And all I'm thinking is, do not let him return this. Make him at least earn it on the offensive side. And we're able to tackle him on my 43-yard line. So, uh, Mays with the first big play of the game. And he's going to be set up on in my territory. He goes whip route first play. He's in five wide. Five wide is extremely tough to stop this year, especially when you have Milro back there. He's such a threat with his legs. And on top of that, he's able to... He's able to break a lot of sacks. For whatever reason, he has that, that extender is crazy this year as we force a fourth and three. So huge play coming up, only 117 left in the half. He throws a quick drag and we're able to stop him shy of the first down and get the ball back. So no harm done after getting uh, throwing a costly interception early in this game. We're even now as far as possessions go, the score is tied. I need to get points before the half. So, you know, in my mind, that's all I'm thinking. Get at least three on the board and put some pressure on him for the second half. As you can see me hit that drag again. So he's given me the drag a couple times now. And I, when someone gives you something, you know, so, so simple, you make sure you, you want to take advantage of that. I, I was trying to hit him deeper here as he took away the drag and the, and the whip route, um, but was unable to get the ball off. But the very next play, I went right back to it because I've seen it the previous way. And now we're in the red zone. Threatening to go up 7-0 if we can get in this end zone. We can hand it off to Henderson. His juke move is crazy. He's The reason I like using him over Judkins, I like the juke better than the spin move. If you're more spin than juke, then use Judkins. If you're more juke than spin, then use Henderson. On top of that, Henderson is faster by a, a good amount. So um, he is a good choice in my opinion. As you can see, we go Judkins here. And we get into the end zone for the first score of the game. And we're able to go up a touchdown on Mays. Um, now, with 31 seconds, what I'm thinking, do not let him get any huge plays. Milro is is going to kill us with his legs if we don't keep, you know, containment, by the way. So make him get the ball out. We do just that right there. Tackle him shy of the first down, and the clock is running. So the clock is our friend. We want that, we want that clock to get down as fast as possible as Milro misses the little seam. He goes right back to a seam left side, picks up the first down, and now the clock is down. We were able to clock out a little bit, take his timeouts, and now he's in a tough spot because he doesn't have any timeouts, three seconds remaining in the half, and he has to get the ball into the end zone. So he's going to throw it right side. Milro's not going to reach the end zone. We actually swap the ball down, and we're headed to the half, 7-0 up on Mays. Final four of the complexity tournament. Again, this was a $2,000 tournament. If we win this, we go to the finals to face the winner of Clef versus K-Mac. All right, the next place in five wide, he goes QB draw with Milro. Picks up the first, but he's hit stick. The ball comes out and we recover it. And now we have first and 10 in his territory, threatening to go up two scores. We go to the go-go 
duo formation, handed off to Judkins, and we pick up only a few yards there. And as you can see, again, duo formation. We're going to keep it on the ground. We're going to keep this clock moving in the second half. These three-minute quarters, you definitely want to um, be mindful of the clock. The clock can go fast if you're on the defensive side of things. Like, it, it does get to going. But if someone is not clocking, these quarters seem fine. Um, I'm, I'm more of a fan of four-minute quarters. But, again, it just depends on how the game is going. And in the comp aspect, I think four-minute quarters would be better going forward. As we pick up another first down, we're headed to the fourth quarter with the lead, with the ball, and trying to go up two scores here on the ground, unable to get there. Second and goal, we go right back in Mays with stellar defense here. It's gonna stop us, set up a third and goal. We flip it to the left side now. Will Howard in the shotgun, duo to the left. We go to the ground and Judkins breaks a tackle, his second touchdown of the game. And we are able to go up 14 to nothing after this extra point. So have him in a tough spot. Now we just want to play Ben, but don't break um, defense. And again, it's a ton of time, 157, because every first down, the clock stops. So uh, want to, again, don't want to give up too much, you know, uh, yard, free yardage over the middle because that clock stopping is, is going to keep it to where he can score in 30 seconds, honestly. Like, uh, the... 157 is a ton of time when you have your timeouts remaining. You're still going to be able to go down a lot of the times, get some points, and then put the pressure back on your opponent. So um, what we want to do here is definitely just keep him in bounds. It would be nice to sack him, you know, on one of these plays just to keep that clock rolling behind the first down. So unable to do that on the first play of the drive. As he, uh, I, I guess he gets out of bounds here on the next play. Second and two, I don't know what happened on that first play. Um, but now it's second and two. Milrow back goes underneath and he hits a drag. And again, this is what I'm talking about. So he's able to pick up a first down and he's able to stop the clock at 135 here. Clock is not moving and now it's starting to go. So now he can go fast, but he chooses to do hot routes. The start gets off another seam. Again, he can hurry up if he wants to. Clock starts to move now after the ball is set. Goes left side flats, and this is the huge play right here because the clock is moving, and we got it down to 108 now. Throws the seam, and it's picked off. Caleb Downs, our best defensive player on Ohio State, picks him off, and this should set up the victory formation. All we got to do is pick up a first down, and this should be over, and we should be headed to the finals, and we will be headed to the finals. You guys are going to see that on the very next video that we drop tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is going to be me versus Clef in the Complexity $2,000 Finals, sponsored by Lenovo. Hope you guys are enjoying these head-to-head -head videos. It seems like you guys are, and if you are, hit the subscribe button. It's free to do, free to support the channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Make sure you guys tell me your Twitch name, too, in the comment section, because I am reading these. I want to know who you guys are on YouTube. See you guys on the next video. Peace.